The next video we wanted to show you is the interactive image. And the interactive image can be a little daunting, but it's actually very, very cool. So let's say I was doing a tutorial about guitars. I can go in here in two widgets and select interactive widget. And again, it comes up with a nice little bounding box for me. And you'll see it's got this thing here called views, show transparent controls, show descriptions. And we'll go through these all in just a minute. And again, we've got our standard layout and we've got our title and caption. I'm just going to leave title on for now. So I'm going to switch back to interaction and I'm going to actually go into Finder. In our, my media folder, I've got a guitar. So I'm going to drag my guitar kind of in there. And you see automatically it does this cool little animation and drops some lorem ipsum or placeholder text in here. Now, this can be a little tricky getting these guys positioned exactly right. So the trick that I've used to get this done kind of quickly is click off the object when you want to get it zoomed out and then kind of drag your mouse over where you want something to be positioned and then kind of drag it around like I want this one to be down here that's actually a pickup and I want to grab the text here and call this pickup and say information about guitar pickup or whatever you want to put in there just more detailed information and I still want to be able to select that other one so I'm going to pull this guy down a little bit just like that and we'll call this one fretboard and we'll put you know information about a fretboard and we'll click over here we'll kind of zoom in out to kind of see how that works now these seem to be a little bit close together so let me oops let me grab this guy here maybe drag him over just a little bit that way Nope, a little too far. Maybe right about there. Click off that, see how that looks. There we go. So one, one's on top of the other. And if we click on the object, you can see here's the default view. We could start off with the default view being the pickup or the default view being the fretboard if we wanted to. I'm going to leave it this way because it's kind of an easy way to see things here. Uh, you can put in accessibility description for folks who can't actually see the image there. So we'll just call this guitar image. And then when the book's actually reading, to them it'll say hey there's a guitar image there but when i tap on fretboard on the ipad what will happen is it should zoom in to the fretboard there and i have my control so i can then click on pickup and it'll zoom in to pickup now my pickup's kind of a little bit off from where the pickup is so let's drag this guy kind of over here a little bit it makes a little bit more sense this way you can actually kind of see the pickup when we're talking about it so that kind of set view so that locks that one in there. So we'll click off of here. Now we got a fretboard. We click on a fretboard and it zooms in there. Then we can kind of pan and scan over, click on pickup and it'll zoom in there. So it's literally an interactive kind of image. It just kind of gives you an overview. So if I click on the transport controls here, it gives me these little control bar down the bottom so I can actually flip between all the objects inside my interactive image now you're not just li limited to two we can add a third one for the volume control or the other portions of maybe tell something about the the body of the guitar or what have you if i click on show descriptions in sidebar it'll take the description from the little box that was underneath here a minute ago i'll flip that back there you go and kind of put it on the side and give you kind of a, a semi-opaque window so you can put a whole bunch of information in there if in case that little box isn't quite small enough in our case, we don't really need that, so we'll shut that guy off. So that's how the little transport controls work. It's kind of a neat little function there. The next video that we're going to go through is actually adding a review. And reviews um, are more for textbooks or tutorials where you're trying to teach somebody something and you want to reinforce that learning. So if you're not doing that kind of book, you're doing a novel, let's say, you may, you may want to skip that video. But it is a good thing to know just as it's the last um, of the advanced widgets that we're going to cover. So in the next video, we're going to go through adding reviews to your iBook.